man. Gaming is hard work. I'll be sitting in a chair. Stretch my legs. I don't use it nearly enough, but I have a standing desk. I will now be taking advantage of press any button. Search. Merger. Hints head bob. Eye for eye. Uh, oh. Oh. Great. A telemarketer. Great, I don't have to read. <sighs> Hello. Hi. Is this Hazel Wright? Uh, yes. Who is this? I'm an executive at Temple Tech. I need your help finding my daughter, Hannah. She's missing. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you contacted the police? The police are useless. I need a professional, someone truly dedicated to finding her. Sir, are you aware it's 2 a.m. in the morning? Please, we have to move now. I'll pay five times your price. Ten times. Money is not an issue. I just want my daughter back in one piece. <laughs> Whew, can't argue with that offer. Oh. Is this it? I see you've arrived. An access key card should be located near you. Use it to open the door. Apple Tech key card. Use. Oh, great. That worked. I have data on my data transmitter that might be useful to you. Just combine the hard drive and the cable, and stick it in the recon data transmitter. A cable? I could connect this to something. Hmm. Looks like it's disconnected from the data transmitter. Combine. Now it should plug into the data transmitter. Connected. The You've got uh, mail. cable and hard drive should be on some tables to the right of the room. Don't forget to combine them and insert it into the recon data transmitter. I recon think it's router. On the left side of the room. Connecting the hard drive with the wire to the router can help upload information to the user's mind as fast as possible. Their mind. Oh, I got it. For a better Temple future. Temple tech for a better world. <laughs> for this security checkpoint, the door requires an employee ID number to unlock. One of my employees, Dean, has been testing products. Oh, four, here. five, one. Maybe four, try five, to pick him up. Yeah. Search with your mind. Dear Dean, I actually forgot your last name, but looking up your first name only somehow works. Hmm. Come to think of it, he mentioned writing Dean Jones. to his team the other day. New prototype Lockstar numpad. Hey, all. We're adopting this new numpad format. Apparently, it can take in six digits, which is perfect for IDs. To test it out, try searching me up, Dean Jones. Search engine. Dean Jones. Out of curiosity. Dean. Okay. Redacted. 491520. Oh, I can actually... I copy-paste? Copy. Paste. copy. Paste. Paste. Can't do that. 491520. Can, can I do this? Copy. Paste. 491520. I think.
think this room is the same as the last one, but I don't remember the name of that employee. There is like Zane. Been tinkering with a lot of things here, though. Maybe try checking the item history of the objects. Assistant to the CEO. It looks like it's empty. Nine hours ago. Carlos Silva. Oh, is this the latest model? What what am I trying to do? Uh, a to-do list. Are these are these groceries? Four one eight three two one. Oh. Hello. Jeez, you live here? In your office? Aren't these fans super expensive? Virtual memory. Lobby. Okay. What's the story behind this picture? Gerald. Gerald Raven. Early life and business career by Aaron Dixon. Gerald Raven, CEO of Temple Tech Incorporated. Celebrated the company's milestone of selling 100 million brain chips last Wednesday. Our survey revealed that shareholders are largely pleased with Gerald's management of the company, with many citing the stable growth of that Temple Tech has been enjoying. Gerald was born on 18th of August 2017 into a middle class English household. After moving to America to have a fresh start in life, Gerald forged many connections and played a vital role in lifting Temple Tech to become one of the most influential company become the most influential company in the world with his charismatic nature. By Aaron Dixon. By Aaron Dixon. 2064. In a groundbreaking announcement today, Temple Tech, the leading brain chip company in the world, announced its active de development of a new brain chip model. A highly anticipated product introduced by Temple Tech's visionary CEO, Gerald Raven, promises to redefine the boundaries of brain-computer interfaces. The new brain chip will include an, an enhanced search engine feature that leverages the immense processing power of the implant to provide users with lightning fast information retrieval. Though a direct neural connection, through a direct neural connection, users can simply formulate a query in their minds and the new model will initiate a seamless search process, providing relevant information. Raven updated the public that this new model is currently being tested internally. Gerald announces new bionic eye product. In a momentous announcement today, Gerald Raven, the visionary CEO of Temple Tech, unveiled an extraordinary development in the field of ocular technology. Raven introduced the world to the highly anticipated bionic eye model. The bionic eye model integrates seamlessly with Temple Tech's newest brain chip model. Raven emphasized that the bionic eye's functionality synergizes perfectly with the brain chip's advanced search engine feature. The search engine interface is shown holographically in front of the user's bionic eye. Raven updated the public. The model is currently being tested internally. Aaron. Aaron Dixon. Not in there? Oh. Oh, and then I can search. Okay. Trinkets. Lockstar. I think I should look this up. Lockstar. Numpad review. 
The new and improved Lockstar numpads are becoming increasingly common, but advanced security is nothing behind a weak password. As for the format, the most common is the six digit day, month, year format, where D represents the day, month, year. Password could be a birthday, an important day, or even a random array of numbers. Oh, so something's going to be his birthday, probably. Lockstar provides free installation services for any one-time purchase of five or more Lockstar numpads. Whatever you need, contact Lockstar for installation support. Parents, this new Lockstar spy kit is the perfect tool not only to entertain kids, but also teach them critical thinking skills along with the ability to decode puzzles and ciphers. He was born... 1808-17... Temple Tech I'll Award. To Gerald for going above and beyond for Temple Tech. It feels like it's watching me. What do we have here? Got a drink machine just in the little entrance of it. Um. What did I say it was? Seventeen, not ninety-seven. 1808, 1808, 17. Entrance puzzle solved. Hannah's bedroom is upstairs. Hannah. But be careful with the staircase. Hmm. Thanks for letting me know, Gerald. But why aren't you here in person to help me with the search? Hannah. Raven. Why unknown. So 12, 10, 65. Hannah Raven, the daughter of the multi-billionaire Gerald Raven, recently leaked information from a close source that the Raven family has revealed some interesting details about Hannah Raven's personality and interests. According to the source, Hannah is a puzzle enthusiast and loves to watch detective shows in her free time. The source also noted that Hannah is a straight-A student that has a passion for science and technology. This, is infor this information comes amidst growing concern for Hannah's safety after her recent disappearance. Money Can't Buy Brains by Lenny Shepard Reportedly, the child of Temple Tech's Gerald Raven is having difficulties getting her letters and numbers straight, even though she's eight. Interesting. It seems like having money doesn't really solve all your problems. She might be suffering from Starling Syndrome. Lenny Shepard Eight-year-old Hannah Raven and her dad, Gerald Raven, spent some quality time together in the kitchen last month, whipping up a batch of delicious chocolate chip cookies. A pair had a blast measuring and mixing ingredients, and the end result was a plate of warm, gooey cookies that were hit, a hit with the whole family. Baking is just one of the many ways that the Ravens like to spend time together, and it's clear that they have a strong bond that nothing can break. I wanted to look up Lenny Shepard. Nothing. Starling Syndrome. Symptoms. Dr. Nova Starling, a renowned neuroscientist, has made a groundbreaking discovery in the field of cognitive disorders. She has identified a set of symptoms similar to dyslexia, where which she has named Starling Syndrome. Disorder, characterized by difficulty in reading, writing, and spelling, affects a specific group of individuals who were previously undiagnosed. Dr. Starling's research offers hope for better understanding and treatment of this debilitating condition. Starling Syndrome occurs in children who interchange letters and numbers that look similar. For example, the number 7 changes to 2, and 2 changes to 7, and 6 changes to 9, and vice versa. Studies have shown that people who suffer from Starling Syndrome often grow up to be highly intellectual. Two. Two is two is seven, six is nine. Leaving myself a note. Okay, so so Hannah. 
Well, so she'd be 12, 12, 10, 65, but she'd probably make it 95 because of the six. Hmm. Panel. Looks like the maintenance panel for something. Oh, three fuses needed, huh? Sounds like a wild goose chase to me. It's time to start hunting. It says locked by control room. Is this? Well. Interesting. Blank mm. paper. Smells like lemon. Lemon. My dear Jasmine, those documents I showed you yesterday, I placed them in the living room safe for Dr. Slater. Jasmine Slater. We can discuss more after my trip, but if you'd like to look them over again, you know the code to the safe. Also, I found Hannah playing with one of the fuses from the stairwell mechanism, so I put it in the safe along with the key to the playroom. Be back soon. Hmm. Expensive taste. Jasmine. <clears throat> Jasmine Raven was an American psychologist best known for creating the Raven Trait Model, or RTM. Her research on personality types are considered to have revolutionized the field of modern psychology. Her model also found widespread practical application with in hiring practices, matchmaking, and personal career assessments. She has stated that her research was only possible due to her husband's advancements in brain chip technology. Power couple behind Temple Tech's dominance, blending psychology and technological innovation. In the realm of power couples, psychologist Jasmine Raven... <clears throat> And her husband, Gerald Raven, the visionary CEO of brain chip company Temple Tech, stand out as a dynamic duo at the intersection of psychology and technological innovation. Their unique partnership exemplifies the harmonious fusion of expertise, vision, and unwavering support, fostering groundbreaking advancements that bridge the gap between human behavior and cutting-edge technology. Who is Jasmine Raven? Twenty, huh? Jasmine Raven, the wife of Temple Tech CEO Gerald Raven, has been missing from the public view for the past six months. When asked about her wife, Gerald always dodges the question and discloses and disclose any relevant information. Always dodge the questions and disclose that sentence does sense to me. Nobody knows her exact situation. Some speculate that Jasmine Raven has been ill. What has the Raven family I... Venus Slater, MD. Board certified in adult psychiatry and also in child and adolescent psychiatry. Dr. Slater is known for her groundbreaking work in treating emergent behaviors. Dr. Slater provides comprehensive, individualized care, taking into account a bio, psycho, social, and psychodynamic approach to working with her patients, while also involving new methods of cyber psychoanalysis, assisted by Temple Tech brain chip technology. Dr. Slater may prescribe meds as an adjunct to psychotherapy, but does not do medication management alone when patients are in therapy with someone else. Payment is due at time. Get him.
copper sulfate. 70% nitric acid concentrated, 98% sulfuric acid copper. 30 milliliters water in beaker. 5 milliliters nitric acid plus 3 milliliters concentrated sulfuric, 6 grams copper. Found this person. I think she'd be great. Would love to get your thoughts. Here's what her page said. Dr. Ana Slater, board certified in adult and child psychology, experienced in cyber psychoanalysis. Did you talk with her about using Temple Tech chips yet? She says it's some kind of medication or disinfectant. Aqueous iodine. Ana, six hours ago. Gerald, three hours ago. That was a complete waste of time. It says it's some kind of medication or disinfectant. Recon this blender. blender could probably make smoothies out of rocks. A half empty glass of water. Half full, really. I gotta stay positive. Some days I don't know how to feel. RTM's applications are corrupted far beyond my control. Gerald and I always argued over how it should have been used, but he can only see its benefits through the lens of a company. Of the company. While his profits are up, what else matters? Maybe I'm a terrible wife for saying such things. Maybe it wasn't entirely my fault. After all, it's my creation, and it's hurt so many people. Either way, my head feels like it's going to pound out of my skull. Hmm. I'm not here to think about my family's past. But seeing these memories just reminds me of what I've lost. There should be a fuse inside this electrical box. Mm, looks like it's missing a battery of some sort. Blowtorch. It's labeled small. Mm, looks like it's missing a battery of some sort. Used Hazel moments ago. Am I Hazel? Wait. Searched myself. Achievement. It was in the Wright's home orphanage that Hazel grew up. He was orphaned at the age of eight and taken in by the Wright's home, where she found solace in books and puzzles. As she grew older, Hazel's love of puzzles led her to develop an analytical mind, and she soon found herself drawn to the world of detective work. At the age of 20, she became a detective, using her skills to help others, just as the staff at the Wright's home had helped her. It's labeled large. It's labeled large. Mm, I'm not that hungry yet. Oh. Cell remover. This recon device should come in handy for removing batteries. This recon device should come in handy for removing batteries. It popped out. Medium. Looks like it's powered on now. Ah, so I took a battery out of the one thing. Ah, voila! Now we're cooking with gas. Or rather, blowtorches. It's labeled large. Use. One down, two to go. This is shaping up to be quite the adventure. This generator seems to be charging some power cells. Isn't Recon that one big tech brand? 
vinegar olive oil locked door oh, well that was a complete waste of time I need to get in this oh, well that was a complete waste of time it said she'd know the code so you'd think it would be Smells like lemon. Smells like lemon. Hmm. Smells like lemon. A half empty glass of water. Um, half full, really. I gotta stay positive. Oh, that was convenient. Huh. Dr. Slater. Again, sorry for all this invisible ink nonsense. It's how Jasmine and I keep our correspondences hidden from our daughter. She's awfully curious. The documents I spoke to you about are in the safe, and the code is me and Jasmine's wedding date. Ah. Ah. 30... 30th November 2056. My husband and I celebrated our 10th anniversary. We went on a cruise ship, bought many souvenirs, and went sightseeing around many tropical islands, including the original destination of our wedding. Here's to another 10 years of happy marriage. So it would be 30... 30, 11, 46? This looks like it unlocks the playroom. The corporate baboons covered up the building sca budding scandals and moved on, ready to make some mistakes all over again. They don't care about the human race's technological evolution or the inherent risks posed by our products. They just scramble after short-term profits, unconcerned that their greed will eventually be our ruin. So I've made Project Scion to flaunt to the board, a new version of more of the same to blind them to my real agenda. They will object, of course, not out of ethical concerns, but simply out of fear of a PR disaster. While they gape at the onslaught of superficial bud buzzwords I produce for them, I've gathered a select team of capable people whom I trust to work on Project Scion. Some of them resisted at first, but I was able to convince them in the end. It helps that if this goes wrong, it'll be me who suffers the consequences. Project Scion won't cleanse any of my mistakes. Far from it. It's the best I can do. Jasmine, I know this is far too late, but I hope it redeems me in the slightest. I love you. Project Scion. That's something I can look up. Oh. I was once a fool, but no longer. Development on Project Scion starts immediately. Unsurprisingly, our database revealed that there existed no brain chip users besides me with a compatible enough RTM for testing. I wouldn't want it any other way, so long as I can see this work to the end. Given these circumstances, the success of this project will mean the death of me. But that's what sacrifice that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for the sake of my family. The project will be completed on time and there will be no mistakes. I fear I won't be able to see this through to the end. The data from the first round of clinical trials confirmed what I already knew. Both my mind and my body deteriorated in the aftermath. I can't afford to hesitate. We must develop a technology to obviate the need for both. If nothing else, my consciousness must be safeguarded from further harm. It's the only way to guarantee the project's success. Effective today, I'm redirecting resources to produce this new line of research. Let's call it Project Scion. Yes, of course. This was always the logical next step. Not just for Temple Tech, but for all of humanity. I 
thought this was this way of being would be transcendental. Ever since the success of both projects, the company has been outperforming quarterly projections. I'm infinitely more logical and precise, and it clearly shows. I no longer feel the constant ache of loss, but the joy I felt sharing our lives together is just as absent. My effort, my pride, my work, it all seems distant, ridiculous in retrospect. Most of all, my gratitude for life itself and seeing my daughter's face every morning is gone. Project Scion is complete, and if she wants answers, she'll have to find the way. Jasmine Log, 19 April. Being able to record my thoughts on a whim is nice, but it definitely doesn't outweigh the cons. 24th April. Getting harder to record these thoughts, I can feel my mind slipping away, piece by piece. Gerald's been working like a man possessed day and night in a fear for her. What if she ends up like me, consumed by the RTM? What if it's too late to reverse it? I feel like myself right now, lucid, but in a few hours, who knows? It's always good news from him, nothing but good news. I just wish he'd tell me the truth. Find the way. Temple Tech CEO's Thoughts on Literature, Part 1. Science fiction is other utter hogwash. The genre ruined so many perfectly good terms that would have otherwise benefited the science. My thoughts don't try to get started or will be here all day, I swear. I love a good mystery and nothing beats the hound of the Baskervilles. You know, there are many similarities between myself and Mr. Holmes. We both work toward demystifying the unknown. For those unaware, the story was about Sherlock solving a supernatural case about a mysterious death-dealing black hound. If you're a Brit, you'd know how ingenious the writing was. Because the legend of the black hound goes back centuries in English folklore, the story is a perfect example of how Sherlock always triumphs against superstition with deduction and science. That's exactly the kind of thinking we need more of these. In British mythology, the Black Hound is a character well known as a harbinger of misfortune or death. They featured in English folktales for centuries and remain culturally relevant in modern retellings. For example, the Hound of the Baskervilles. More rarely, they've been depicted as protectors, guardians, or guides help lost travelers find safe path. My thoughts? Oh boy. Off the record with Temple Tech CEO. The term, take the term psionic, for instance. It's a term with reasonable origins. Psy comes from the word psyche, meaning the mind or soul. The onyx was taken from electronics. It was meant to invoke the scientific rigor of electrical engineering. Now you might be imagining something splendid, how to hold the human mind in an electrical component prep. But no, it was just the term created to study those with ESP psychic powers. To have my line of work conflated with such quackery is outrageous, and to think it was coined by a psychologist no less, well, I suppose I could create my own term, and it would be leagues better, but why let a psychologist win? Excuse me, is that the kind of question appropriate for this outlet? My thoughts on psychology are completely separate from my thoughts on my wife, whom I value deeply. With Jasmine's input, we created the most valuable innovation of the 21st century. It's a complete joke. The near entirety of psychology, up until my wife started practicing, was full of charlatans. We revolutionized the field and provided a genuinely useful application through the Raven trait model. Explanation of the Raven Train model. Jasmine Raven's research relied heavily on emergent brain chip technology. Direct interface with the brain allowed for infinitesimal analysis and highly accurate prediction of trait manifestation given an individual's unique trait proportions.
Brief history of personality traits. Personality types or personality traits are used to classify human characteristics into distinct categories. Famous examples include the Myers Briggs Type Indicator, MBTI, and introversion versus extroversion. Historically, scientists dismissed the idea that infinite breadth of human personalities could be stored into small groups or binaries. However, during the mid 21st century, Jasmine Raven's research upended this long held belief. The accuracy of her classification system allowed for over 70 trillion personality permutations. Today, the Raven trait model is the standard in most, if not all, major corporations' recruiting pipelines. Interesting. I go. Cases of mental illnesses have been slowly rising over the last decade. New conditions are discovered every year. The healthcare industry has been rushing to develop new forms of treatment to address severe cases. Such forms of treatment include cyber psychoanalysis, which involves taking advantage of brain chip technology to monitor levels of serotonin, dopamine, and other crucial chemicals in the brain. Notable leaders in this field include Dr. Anna Slater, who has been endorsed by Temple Tech. Cyber. Temple. There's so much stuff. <laughs> An announcement for a new iteration in Temple Tech's flagship brain chip series, the U-Chip 3.0, now featuring multitasking capabilities. Send an unwanted task to an underutilized part of the mind, and the U-Chip will use that area of the brain to complete the task and give you the de desired result. Temple Tech, up 3.5% after hours on quarterly beat. Thirty-four UChip 2.0 users report facial paralysis. An analysis concluded that thirty-four credible cases of facial paralysis have occurred as a result of extended UChip 2.0 usage in the past eighteen months. The DOJ has launched a probe investigating Temple Tech's potentially misleading advertising campaign, which may not have offered sufficient warning to consumers about the adverse effects, adverse risks, of using UChip 2.0. For the extended periods of time, Temple Chip declined Chip Hub's request to comment on this story. You chip. Yep. Chip Hub. Thirty four. This looks like it unlocks the playroom. Wait. Use. Hmm. Toy knife. A small toy knife? I hope Hannah didn't hurt herself playing with this. Data corrupted. V. The purple dress. I'm sure I've seen this before. A cute doll with a purple dress. I'm sure I've seen this before.
anyone there? There you go. I don't know how to use this thing very well. Wh whose voice is that? I don't know if I want to answer. But maybe I should. Maybe they can help me. Maybe they can help us. I'm glad you're here, whoever you are. It's lonely in this house. My mom sat with me weird, and I don't know where my dad went, but... <laughs> hmm. This oh. room oh. gives me a weird migraine. I need to find out what's going on here. Staircase fixed. Staircase fixed. Anna's room. <sighs> the door doesn't seem to budge. What's that? Is someone in the bathroom? I can hear something. It sounds like voices. Uh, hey! Is anyone in there? Of course there's another locked door. Huh. Use item. Oh, more blank papers. Hmm. <clears throat> A plastic bag of white powder. Reminds me of high school. It dissolved. Did I want to do that? Uh, more blank papers. My dearest Jasmine, I can't begin to express the regret and pain I feel over what happened to you. I should have stopped blank. I should have listened to your pleas for help. I love you more than anything in this world, and I'll spend the rest of my life making amends for what I've done. I promise to keep your family safe, and to never let anyone else suffer like you did, and I'm sorry for the damage I've caused. I'm trying my hardest to fix things for blank. Please accept my apologies, blank. It's heartbreaking to read how much he missed her. All these letters are his way of mourning. I wonder if they hold any clues. Jasmine looks really ill in this photo, and that little girl crying beside her, she looks so familiar. Could it be? <laughs> no, it, it can't be. What? Uh, more blank papers. Wow. Project Omicron is going well. Shows promise with regards to neural augmentation and control over sensitivities. New brain chip patch, likely to be named X6, can begin pre-alpha testing in one to two months, depending on subject availability. Discovered new side effects of nausea and short lapses in memory, likely due to imbalance in progesterone and estrogen levels. Requires more testing with women. Omicron. I've been assigned as lead developer for the X ship, X6 chip. I'm sure the board made this decision begrudgingly, but it wasn't. It was either that or scapegoat one of their own. Temple Tech's legal teams have buried the victims of the X5 chip, and I've been able to hide Jasmine's condition from them so far. I shouldn't have left her install the chip. It seemed right at the time. Why stop her when I was permitting so many others to take the same risks, albeit unknowingly? I was a fool. Trial 4. Subject experienced headaches, lightheadedness, and nausea, possibly due to neural disconnection with visual cortex. Further symptoms included mood swings and confusion. Subject fainted 30 minutes after update. Locked ourselves in our master bathroom and had to hide my key in the wine cabinet next to the dining table. Fix. Company-wide X6 announcement. Brain ship is under development. Thanks for our top engineers and researchers. The X6 project is beginning steady progress. We are ready for live tests. 
If you or your loved ones are interested in volunteering for Alpha Testing Plan, please contact your manager. Compensation for volunteering testing will be discussed next quarter. Version 6 has these changes. Control over certain neural sensitivities, including facility for emotions such as anger, depression, insecurity, etc. New API calls for personality-altering functions. Automatic detection of certain words, concepts, or memories, and ability to trigger certain brain alterations in response. Delay the shipment of X5 ships. Chips. Once again, I strongly advise delaying the rollout of the X5 chip. The chip's upgraded hardware has posed many problems for our design team, many of which remain unresolved at present and will take considerable time to work out. When selling on an international scale, even the slightest flaw in our chip could potentially harm thousands of users. Brain chips are still emerging technology with plenty of skeptics. And the last thing that Temple Tech needs is a PR disaster. Project Omicron. Log. Two. Omicron's underway, but I can only trust a skeleton crew that I hand-selected with the true nature of it. Ironic how we switched places, the board now treading carefully while I no longer have that luxury. Jasmine's condition is worsening each day. I'm racing against the clock, but I worry the X6 chip won't be complete in time to save her. Worse yet, I'm starting to see Hannah display similar tendencies, lapsing into erratic behavior and leaving strange drawings around the house. Could Jasmine's genetics be vulnerable to the X5 chip? Have I doomed my family? There's no use in these thoughts. I'll get back to work. Said there was a key hidden in the wine. Oh, it's just now there. I don't think it was before. Oh, I got it. settings. Maybe we can reduce the pain and delusions. Gerald! Oh, it hurts so much. I know, love. I know. We'll figure it out. Okay. Mind shield. shield. The miracle pill for brain chip malfunction. It's supposed to alleviate headaches and delusions, but at what cost? Mind shield. Effective or scam? The thread discusses users' experience with the prescription pill Mind Shield, which claims to alleviate negative side effects of brain chip malfunction, such as headaches and delusions. Some users report that Mind Shield has been effective in reducing their symptoms, while others are skeptical, skeptical of its effectiveness and claim that it is a scam. The thread includes a mix of positive and negative reviews, as well as some tips on where to purchase the pill. pill. I can feel it growing stronger inside me, like a darkness that's taking over. It's hard to put into words, but it's like there's someone else in my head. Someone I don't recognize. I don't know what's happening to me. I had a dream last night. In it, the darkness spoke to me, telling me that it's been inside of me all along, that it's part of me. I don't know what to make of it. I'm scared, but I'm also starting to wonder if maybe I should just let it take over. Another episode today. I was doing fine, and then suddenly I wasn't. The darkness took over, and I couldn't control myself. I'm scared of what I might do if this continues. I'm scared for my family. I'm having trouble remembering things again. I don't remember much of what happened, but my daughter told me that I was screaming and thrashing around. She 
She looks at me with fear in her eyes, and I can't bear to see her like this. Entry 5. I don't know what to do about her. She's not just a darkness inside of me. She's a person. I can see glimpses of her, the other me, in the mirror. She's always there, just beneath the surface, waiting for her chance to take over. It's strange. Like she's a part of me now. A dark, twisted part that I can't escape. I wish I could understand her, make sense of why she's here and what she wants, but all I can do is write and hope that somehow, somewhere, there's a way out of this. This darkness she's talking about, why is it so familiar? Am I... afflicted by the same thing? Oh, well, that was a complete waste of time. Use the bookshelf. Oh. Why is this happening to me? Oh, I can't think straight. He's all. You're letting your emotions cloud your judgment. Let me handle it. I need to get out. We need to find the truth. I can't be trapped here. Well, well, well. Look who's finally awake. Uh, what happened? Did I pass out? Did I have a dream? I heard my voice. Who was the other voice? Um, this must be Hannah's bedroom. How did I get here? Interesting. Neurocalm. Neurocalm. Now, this pill is supposed to help reduce anxiety and depression from brain chip malfunction, too. Sounds like there's a lot more to this case than meets the eye. Neuro. Calm. This medical journal article presents a study on the use of Neurocalm, a pill designed to reduce anxiety and depression in individuals with brain chip implants. The study found that Neurocalm was effective in reducing symptoms of depression and anxiety in a majority of patients, providing promising results for those struggling with the negative side effects of brain chip health. Combine. Hello. Detective. What happened? How long was I out? Detective, stay on the course of the case. Our time is limited. I, I am on the course. This must be your daughter's bedroom. Yes, it is. I know where Hannah is. She is safe. You found your daughter? When did you... Detective, we've got bigger fish to fry out here. Out where? I... Have you been lying to me? Why am I here? Am I... Is this case even real? Am I the daughter? This whole thing doesn't feel right. Or something I like that. I need to know what is happening here. B. You'll find out what you're looking for in Gerald's office. I found something that will help you. Your silent partner. To the Violet Hour from Mosby Solutions. House Construction Services. Payment is to be made to Mosby Solutions. Any disputes arising from this invoice will be settled by binding arbitration in accordance to the construction industry arbitration rules, Mosby Solutions. Mosby Solutions is a reputable construction company that specializes in building custom homes and remodeling existing structures. The company was founded by Evelyn Mosby, a seasoned construction professional with over 20 years of experience in the industry. Mosby Solutions was founded with the goal of providing high quality craftsmanship and exceptional, exceptional customer service to every client. The company's services include new home construction, home remodeling, and additions. They have a team of experienced and skilled professionals who are committed to ensuring that each project is completed on time, within budget, and to the client's satisfaction. They work closely with architects and designers to ensure that the client's vision is brought to life. Billionaire saves construction company. Gerald, the founder of the Violet Hour and CEO of Temple Tech, recently came to the aid of Mosby Solutions, a construction company, during their time of financial need. 
Mosby Solutions was specialized in building custom homes and remodeling existing structures, was facing financial difficulties and struggling to keep their business afloat. Gerald, recognizing the potential and value of Mosby Solutions, decided to take action. He ordered the construction of a custom home worth $2.5 million to be built by Mosby S Solutions. Uh, decide, uh, uh, uh. It turned out to be a masterpiece of craftsmanship and design. It was equipped with state-of-the-art technology and was built with sustainable and eco-friendly building practices. The home was also designed with a focus on creating a better work-life balance, aligning with Gerald's mission for the Violet Hour. Violet. Violet. Violet is the color of light at the short wavelength end of the visible spectrum, between blue and the invisible ultraviolet. It was, It is one of the seven colors that Oldton labeled when dividing the spectrum of visible light in 1672. Violet light has a wavelength between 380 and 435 nanometers. The color's name is derived from the violet flower. The RGB color model used in computer and television screens, violet is produced by mixing red and blue light with more blue than red. In the RYB color model, historically used by painters, violet is created with a combination of blue of red and blue pigments and is located between blue and purple on the color wheel in the cmyk color model used in printing violet is created with a combination of magenta and cyan pigments with more magenta than cyan violet is often associated with royalty nobility luxury power and ambition Violet Love. A romantic movie ends in tragedy released four years ago. It received excellent reviews from both critics and audience. Violet. What was it? What was it called? Violet Hour. It's a unique and innovative book publisher that was founded in 2069 by Harold in by Gerald. In memory of his second daughter, Violet, who had a passion for reading. His second daughter. This publishing company is dedicated to sharing the joy of reading and helping authors bring their stories to life. Gerald's inspiration for creating the Violet Hour came from a deeply personal experience. After the birth of his second daughter, Violet, he was amazed by her love for books and the impact that reading had on her young mind. Gerald founded the Violet Hour as a way to honor Violet's memory and share her love for reading with the world. Strong sales, effective marketing efforts, recognition of our authors. As we move into quarter three, we will continue to prioritize our social media presence and other events, while also seeking out new opportunities for growth and expansion. 2069. 2069. I assume in the toy room there was a second safe. Jasmine. I'm so sorry. Daddy. Hazel. You shouldn't be here. Huh? Y and O. You know? the handwriting on this one but I didn't realize Lockstar made toy safes
Who is Violet Raven? There's a side of Gerald that very few people know about his secret child, Violet. He kept her existence secret from the world. No one knows the details of her birth or how she came to have or how he came to have a child, but it is clear that she holds a special place in his heart. The name of his book publishing company, The Violet Hour, is a subtle tribute to her and the impact she had in his life. Rumors suggest that the 1st of July, the founding date of the company, could be her birthday. Gerald's decision to keep Violet a secret is a mystery. But it's clear that he deeply cares for her and wants to protect her privacy. He has never spoken publicly about her and has kept her out of the spotlight, even as his business has grown in success and fame. It's unclear if Violet is aware of her father's public life or if she will ever be no made known to the public. But one thing is certain, she holds a special place in Gerald's heart and her existence has shaped the way he approaches his life and business. A reminder that behind every successful person, there's a story and often that story includes people they care about the most. The 1st of July. O one oh seven sixty nine. Maybe. I don't know what's going on either, but I hear things. Whispers. They tell me things I shouldn't know. They scare me. Do you hear them too? Yeah. I hear them too. They tell me things about the house. Secrets. Maybe we can use that to find out what's going on. Hmm. Hounds of Baskerville. I'm wondering if I have to put this on the bookshelf. Which was here. Oh. <sighs> Finally. Now I should be able to enter the home office. Cognipax. I've heard of Cognipax before. It's often prescribed to those with brain chip implants and memory loss or processing issues. It's interesting how dependent we've become on technology to compensate for our own shortcomings. Cognipax. Enhances cognitive function and memory retention. Often prescribed to individuals with brain chip implants experiencing memory loss. For difficulty processing information, our online pharmacy offers Kanye packs to affordable prices with fast and discreet shipping. Order now. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. This is why he kept trying to steer you away. He is responsible for mom's death. Who, who are you? If we have the same parents. Oh, act normal. Don't freak out. It's a trap. The whole thing's fake. He's playing us, you and me. We've got to get out of here, but we got to destroy him first. His lab is downstairs in his office, but it's locked. I left some clues around the house, but they're coded. Same Caesar cipher we used to hide notes from dad when we were we were younger. Remember, don't read them out loud. He's listening. Good luck. V. Is that short for something or a number? Is V a person I know?
Uh. Hazel, Hazel, listen to me. He can't protect you anymore. I won't let it ruin you too. I'm not here to think about my family's past, but seeing these memories just reminds me of what I've lost. It looks like a cute doll with a brown dress. I wonder if this was Hannah's favorite. Velvet. Imagine, is that corrupted name one? I don't know what this, this like Caesar cipher you you did this it was an accident lockstar i think i should look this up uh now isn't the time for a good book These fans super expensive. A small toy knife. I hope Hannah didn't hurt herself playing with this. Jasmine looks really ill in this photo, and that little girl crying beside her, she looks so familiar. Could it be? <laughs> no, it, it can't be. Hmm. There was also the fireplace. Oh, well, that was a complete waste of time. Oh, well, that was a complete waste of time. Oh, well, that was a complete waste of time. I wonder if there's something behind there, but I gotta figure out what to do with it. I found three notes. <sighs> hmm. A Caesar cipher is a shift cipher. Ah. Ah. Cryptography or Caesar's Cipher, also known as Caesar's Cipher, the ship cipher. It's a type of substitution cipher in which each letter of a plain text is replaced by a letter some fixed number of positions down with the alphabet, for example, with a shift of three. So she mentioned V as a number, so what's that mean? I have to shift it five, maybe? Uh, one type is called the Rot 13 cipher, substitution cipher. The units, maybe single letters, most common pairs of letters, triplets of letters. I'm not gonna read all of that. Uh. 13 cipher. Cipher of Caesar cipher. Oh. Thirteenth letter of the alphabet is a simple letter substitution cipher. What's what Y L N A O B Lab. Oh, that's probably it. U E R E N A B and then U Death B B Z Mom Lab death mom. Lab log. 
The revision seems to be working, at least to some extent. The shadow is still a problem, but we're making progress. I've noticed some concerning side effects, though. Headaches, memory loss, mood swings. I'm not sure if it's related to the chip or if it's something else entirely. I need to keep monitoring Jasmine and make adjustments as needed. Yeah. Jasmine Raven, wife of Temple Tech entrepreneur Gerald Raven, passed away this morning from a sudden stroke. She leaves behind her husband and her eight-year-old daughter. Figures across the mindware industry have expressed their condolences for this sudden tragedy. With several announcing plans to establish charities or scholarships in her honor, Gerald Raven did not immediately respond to requests or comment. Gerald Raven is a murderer. Folks, we all know Gerald Raven to be a sleazy, corrupt agent of the state. You won't catch me dead installing Temple Tech brain control chip. But today he's hit a brand new low. Matricide. That's right. Whether it be for an affair or a threat to expose Temple Tech's sinister underside, Gerald killed his wife and the media helped him cover it up. Stay posted and donate if you want that truth. Mom. Hmm. -mm. Jasmine Raven passes away. V. Is that short for something or a number? Is V a person I know? 151166. Just quit the hide and seek already. I know you've been looking for me. <sighs> Who was it? Why did the voice sound familiar? That was a complete waste of time. Oh, well, that was a complete waste of time. Looks like it's powered off. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, who said that? Where is that coming from? Who's there? You don't remember me? Find a way to turn it on. Wait, answer my question. I... Hello? Hmm. This must power the computer. My god, how did you end up a detective? Are you speaking through my brain chip? You're in my brain chip, Hazel. But... Keep up. Use the master access to turn on the screens over there. I have to know what's going on. Don't forget that's there, in case I need it. I don't know if I do. Got it. There's a... Password. something or a number is v a person i know it's a date 
the what? Hmm. Have to use actual hint. This is why he kept trying to steer you away. He is responsible for Mom's death. Who? But who are you? If we have the same parents. I Stumped. should look up Master Access. My search engine should give some helpful information. Master Access. Okay. A state of art panic room brand requires a recon large cell. Oh. I kind of figured that out on my own. Master code is unique to each person. To override a system, you need to pass two gates by entering the correct answers to the questions. Gate one How many children do you have? When was the worst year of your life? Done. Okay, not so fast. The next gate looks a little trickier. Worst year of your life. Twenty sixty six, fifteen. Hello, daughter. Yeah, I beat the game without saving. Got an achievement. That was cool. Kind of predicted what was going on, but stuff. Interesting story, kind of a unique way of going about it. Search engine stuff. I forget where I came across that. It might have been on Twitter or something like that. People talking about games and pop my eye. Thanks. Cool. Eye for eye. That was fun. Being sick of reading, though. I'll tell you that much. I think it's kind of dumb that you can't leave reviews for free games. I really don't understand why.
Your achievements I missed. Oh, you can craft. One of the achievements is craft salad dressing. Finish the game without using any hints, so I almost did. Search other games. Stay in the tutorial for 30 minutes. Quit the game in under 2 minutes 45 seconds. Interesting. Out of curiosity. Uh, oh. <sighs> Great. I'll tell them all. Is this it? I see you've arrived. An access key card should be located near you. Use it to open the door. Oh, great. That worked. I have data on my data transmitter that might be useful to you. Just combine the hard drive and the cable and stick it in the recon data transmitter. The uh, cable and hard drive should be on some tables to the right of the room. Don't forget to combine them and insert it into the recon data transmitter. I Four, nine, think one, it's five, on two. the left side of the room. Hmm. Come to think of it, he mentioned writing a note to his team the other day. I think this room is the same as the last one, but I don't Four, remember one, eight, the name two. of that employee. It looks like somebody's been tinkering with a lot of things here, though. Maybe try checking the item history of the objects. I suppose if you know all the Please, codes and stuff, it's pretty straightforward. Here? In your office. What's the story behind this picture? What's his name? Gerald? 1808-7... Anna's bedroom is upstairs, but be careful with what the staircase. What was the code to it? Hmm. Thanks for letting me know, Gerald. I remember. But why aren't you here in person to help me with the search? It says locked by control room. Thirty, eleven, fifty. No. Oh, forty-six. Hmm. This looks like it unlocks the playroom. Hmm. Expensive taste. Hmm. I can't read the handwriting on this one, but I didn't realize Lockstar made toy safes. I'm trying to see how much I remember off the top of my head. Oh, I'd have to get one upstairs. One down, two to go. This is shaping up to be quite the adventure. And like that key that appears here, it's just not there. There should be a fuse inside this electrical box. This recon device should come in handy for removing batteries. It popped out. Mm, looks like it's missing a battery of some sort. Ah, voila! Now we're cooking with gas. Or rather, blowtorches. I think one was in her... Late Just chest, actually. One little fuse left to find. Well, let's hope it's not Anna. playing hide and seek. Twelve. So it would be seventeen ten. Seventeen ten ninety five.
I'm probably not going to be fast enough, but still fun. That's it. Brilliant. Let me go upstairs and find more clues about this missing Hannah. What's that? It's someone in the bathroom. <sighs> Finally. Now I should be able to enter the home office. What was this one? V. Is that short for something or a number? Is 15, 11, 66. I know? Just quit the hide and seek already. I know you've been looking for me. Uh, who was it? Why did the voice sound familiar? Done. Okay, not so fast. The next gate looks a little trickier. Hello. Oh. Daughter. Hello. No hints. How long did that take? It seems easy enough that I want to actually do it now. <laughs> Twenty sixty six. Excuse me, I'm going to be routing eye for eye speedrun right now. Uh, oh. Oh. Great. A telemarketer. Is this it? I see you've arrived. An access key card should be located near you. Use it to open the door. Huh. Oh, great. That worked. I have data on my data transmitter that might be useful to you. Just combine the hard drive and the cable and stick it in the recon data transmitter. For this security checkpoint, the door requires an employee ID number to unlock. Uh, One of my employees, Dean, has been testing products here. So it's 4915. Come to think of it, he mentioned writing a note to his team the other day. I think this room is the same as the last one, but I don't remember the name of that employee. I'm ready to sell down Looks this Looks like time. somebody's been you. tinkering with a lot of things here, though. Maybe try checking the item history of the objects. Four one eight three two one. Four one eight three two one. Jeez, you live here in your office. Uh, Gerald. Eighteen oh eight seventeen. So what do I? What's the minimum of Hannah's what I actually have to do? I probably don't have to answer the. Be phone. careful with the staircase. Hmm. Thanks for letting me know, Gerald. But why aren't you here in person to help me with the search? I need to. I need the fuses. So I need their wedding. So, so I'll save you, uh, save fuse. Thirty eleven fifty six. Not it. What was it? I already forgot. I didn't just play this game. Forty six, because it's a ten year anniversary. Use, there's a key. Mm, this looks like it unlocks the playroom. Hmm. This is Hannah's birthday. Which is seventeen ten ninety five. And then this is Violet Violet Hour sixty nine. 
and it was July 1st. So, oh, one, seven, sixty-nine. You get the book. We also have to do this, I think. This blender could probably make smoothies out of and rocks. The big... There should be a fuse inside this electrical box. It popped out. Mm, looks like it's missing a battery of some sort. Ah, voila! Now we're cooking with gas. Or rather, blowtorches. Brilliant. Let me go upstairs and find more clues about this missing Hannah. What's that? Is someone in the bathroom? I can hear something. It sounds Bugged like... out for a second. <sighs> Finally. Now I should be able to enter the home office. What's the wife's name again? Jasmine. <laughs> v. Is when that she short for died or a number. Is V a person I know? Fifteen, eleven, and then the thing is twenty sixty six. Just quit the hide and seek. You have to already. listen to this, it seems like. I know you've been looking for me. <sighs> Who was it? Why did the voice sound familiar? <sighs> Got it! The one kid. Done. Okay, not I so fast. Write that dead. The next gate looks a little trickier. Hello. Okay. Daughter. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Great. Is this it? I see you've arrived. An access key card should be located near you. Use it to open the door. I have data on my data transmitter that might be useful to you. Just combine the hard drive and the cable and stick it in the recon data transmitter. The uh, cable and hard drive should be on some tables to the right of the room. Don't forget to combine them and insert it into the recon data transmitter. I think it's on the left side of the room. I think this room is the same as the last one, but Maybe I don't faster remember the name of that employee. It looks like somebody's been tinkering with a lot of things here, though. Maybe try checking the item history of the objects. Jeez, you eighteen oh eight seventeen in your office. Skip the phone. Who cares? Safe thirty eleven. Looks. Hmm. This looks like it unlocks the playroom. This blender could probably make smoothies out of rocks. There should be a fuse inside this electrical box. Looks like it's powered on now. Ah, voila! Now we're cooking with gas. Or rather, blowtorches. Uh, Hannah Box. 17 and 95. Pilot Box. 01, 07, 16. Let me go upstairs and find more clues about this missing Hannah. What's that? Is someone in the bathroom? <sighs> Finally. Now I should be able to enter the home office. <coughs> View room. 15, 11, 66. Just quit the hide and seek already. I know you've been looking for me. Who was it? Why did the voice sound familiar? 
got it. <laughs> Done. Okay. Hello. Daughter. Beat the game in under two minutes and 45 seconds. Yeah. Did it. I wish it would tell me how long it actually took me. Get a timer. Blood. Cool. What were the other achievements? Since I'm bothering to do this. Crafted salad dressing. Searched other games. Stay in the tutorial for 30 minutes. Does that mean, like, look, do they have other games they've made? Team I for I. C A A A C A. Uh, oh. Uh, great. A telemarketer. Uh. Spiritual. Predecessor to eye for eye. Okay. I don't know what games I'm supposed to search for other than that, I get. I'm not sure about that one. Crafted salad dressing. How do you think salad dressing? How would you do that? Is this it? I see you've arrived. An access key card should be located near you. Use it to open the door. I have data on my data transmitter that might be useful to you. Just combine the hard drive and the cable and stick it in the recon data transmitter. The uh, cable and hard drive should be on some tables to the right of the room. Don't forget to combine them and insert it into the recon data transmitter. I think it's on the left side of the room. I think this room is the same as the last one, but I don't remember the name of that employee. It looks like somebody's been tinkering with a lot of things here, though. Maybe try checking the item history of the objects. My plan is just to go to the kitchen. <laughs> Can I look up? <clears throat> Salad. Dressing. Dressing. Salad. Olive. Jeez, you live here? In your office. Toaster. Vinegar, olive oil. I'm not that hungry yet. There should Wasn't there be like a fuse a... inside this electrical box? This blender could probably make smoothies out of rocks. Now I'm hungry. I'll address. Oh, okay, that's all you need. This blender could probably make smoothies out of rocks. Hmm. Cool game. <laughs> I'm not sure what, how you do it, what games I'm supposed to search for. Not cut out for the job. Let me, let me. Eye, eye for eye. Team eye for eye. Oh. It's, 
F. Fuji. I might have to look up something. This was fun. I for I. The Stovey Curse. Search other games. Oh, there we got it. Stovey Curse, a first person survival horror game set in rural post communist Bulgaria. Huh. Okay. And the only one I don't have is you just gotta get stuck in the tutorial for 30 minutes. Which I don't really want to do on stream. <laughs> 